Hello and welcome to another Budget and Lego video. Now today we're going to talk about this carbon cleaning machine down here. This is not going to be like, it's just going to be like an overall video. I'm going to be doing loads more videos on this, getting people's reactions before and after the car. But I just want to talk about the machine and just talk about a few things on it essentially. Now I have been asked questions, the only way to test this properly is to strip the engine before, build it back, clean it and restrip it. Now that is absolutely ridiculous. I'm not going to get a perfectly working customer's car, completely strip it down, take pictures of the pistons and everything, then, because I can't obviously charge the customer, I'm going to have to do all this on my own back, pay for two head gaskets, two sets of head bolts and all that, to strip it down twice, okay? It's not going to happen. You know who you are and it was a ridiculous thing to say. A lot of people are using it as a business and it's getting some great reviews. I've used it a, maybe... 10 times now, people are absolutely loving it. One in particular really sticks in mind. The worse the vehicle is, the better it performs in the sense of because the people know it better. If you do this on a fairly modern vehicle, you're not gonna know any difference as regards driving it, but it will stop it from kind of building up. But when the, when the build up's there and the car is pumping out black smoke and low power because of carbon, not because of other things, that is important, they know it's a huge, huge difference. So, we're just going to talk about the machine. I'm going, to, I'm going to use it on my car behind me now. And we're going to just essentially go through what it does and everything. So, what I will do in later videos is kind of get people's reaction before and after. Kind of compilate, compilate, compilation. <laughs> a load of them together and then release a video just so you can see. When it is easy on a car, I will take shots of, you know, EGR valves and stuff like that. But I'm not going to do it on everyone's car because it's customers cars i don't want to start undoing bolts and breaking them and doing anything like that if they're easy to get to i will it's as simple as that and then hopefully the the customer's reaction you know before and after you know you should kind of get a really good idea and like i said people are just using this just as their business the guy i got this off it was made in the uk made and designed in the UK. I'll leave all the contact information down below. If you want to get one of these, he will even give you money off if you mention me. So, you, you know, if you want to maybe start up a business or do something, uh, you can get a few quid off. They will hand deliver it to you. They'll go through absolutely everything. I mean, you can't really say fairer than that. So let's have a quick look at the machine. Look where I've got it um, hooked into and let's get cleaning. Sorted. Right, as you can see, there it is lovely green machine green's a nice color sorted love it and what do you get with it essentially well you get some jump leads hook up to your battery and you get a pipe that's all you really need so essentially how does it work well this machine produces hydrogen and we've got a water trap in here so when you blow back anything like that it's not going to blow you to kingdom come so that's the safety thing so in here we've got uh, deionized water and we've got a chemical which i just for the life of me has gone out of my head I'll put it up there and that acts as a catalyst and as the um, hydrogen comes through, comes through this pipe, it gets sucked into your engine and the chemical, the magic reaction happens and it breaks down the carbon and it flushes your engine. That's really essentially what it does. You need to make sure this is with distilled or deionized water, not just ordinary water because that will mess with the plates and stuff. And also it is important to have water in the trap because that's a safety thing. All we have to do is put it into the air intake. Now what I would suggest before you do that, if you are thinking about having this as a business, just what I would suggest you do is get some sort of OBD2 reader. Doesn't have to be an expensive one, but it has to be some sort of reader because you want to check fault codes before you start the job. And if there is any problems, because some people, you're gonna you're gonna get a couple of different people. You get people that say you've damaged my car and that problem wasn't in until you used it, which is a great one. We all get that, that's brilliant. I've changed I've changed people's bulls before and they've come in a week later saying the brakes are squeaking and it's my fault. Anyway. Um, and you're also going to get, when you disconnect certain systems, you might get an, an error code because of your map sensor or something along them lines. So you want to be able to go back and delete that code after you've finished and then there's no engine lights on. 
because that is kind of important. You don't want to put an engine light on and leave it because the customer isn't going to be happy. He th he's going to think you've done damage to his car. And then the other side of things, you want to be able to show people, look, this fault is in your car. This has nothing to do with me. Do you want me to go ahead with the cleaning? Because believe me, that will kick you in the ass if you don't. You'd be amazed what some people are like out there. So just a cheap kind of, doesn't have to be expensive, you know, but obviously the more money you spend, the better you get, it's kind of it. And yeah. oh, there you go. And the other thing is, if you do have a fairly good one, well, then you can also, as you're cleaning people's cars, you can also, you know, tell them what engine codes and stuff they've got. So you, you, you will use it. So that's the first thing I would say. Now we're going to get in and we're going to show you on this particular vehicle where I'm putting the hose in. Now on this one, I would normally just take this off and put the hose in here because it's got one of them special clips. I can undo it, but there's no point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to just, as I've already done, taking off the bolts, I'm going to put this pipe in, but I'm going to make sure I go past the sensor. You don't want to put it here. You want to go in past the sensor. Now I'm connected directly to the turbo, so you don't want to go too far in because you don't want the turbo to hit this. So this is where I'm saying you might engine lights on. The, the one I did on the Toyota, once I disconnected this pipe, we did get an engine light on because the, the computer was reading funny. It was reading that this was just wasn't working properly, but we could still clean it, put the pipe back on, clear the faults, take it for a drive, no problem. So that's what I'm gonna do. But one thing I have noticed, the, actual, the, the, the guy that sold me this, Godfrey, he did tell me about it as well. When I've seen some people, you'll see some videos on YouTube, when people disconnect this pipe and they shove this in, they tend to put tape over it to kind of block the hole that you've created. Don't do that because it, when you rev in your engine, you could suck water through the water trap. You don't want to do that. So if you do shove it down this pipe and there is a little bit of a gap, don't worry about it. It's not going to be an issue because it's still pushing the hydrogen through into the engine. So don't worry about it. So that's all I'm going to do is going to put this in, in here like that, feed it through. And I know that's about there now, it's about halfway down that pipe. But before I do that, I just want to show you a couple more things. So what we need to do is, we need to put it on the battery. And as soon as we put it on the battery, we'll turn the machine on and I'll show you that first. So we just turn the machine on. That will turn our little display on, that's the voltage. And we're also going to get the amps coming out of the battery. You do want this to be at least 20 amps. If it's below 20 amps, the machine isn't going to work properly. So you've got a couple of options. And this is the option I use, which is a battery maintainer. Got this from Hubby Tools. So this is also for diagnostics as well. So when you're doing diagnostics, this will put a constant voltage into your battery and it up to, up to 50 amps. So this machine will only take up to 50 amps as well. So don't go above 50 amps on this machine. Or you can also get jump leads and put jump leads on another car or put jump leads on this car, kind of give it a boost. But that's what I use, a battery maintainer. So let's just get all this up and working and see what, uh, what's going on. Right, so I've got my battery maintainer on. If you want to see if you're producing hydrogen, you just put the thing in some water and all them bubbles is just pure hydrogen. Simple as that, lovely. Now I'm going to put that in the intake of the vehicle. Now this one is a 2.2 diesel, so I'm going to leave it on for around about an hour. Even though that's a little bit long, but I'm going to do it for around about an hour. I think you should be able to get away with around 45 minutes, but I'm just going to do it for an hour. Every 10 minutes or 15 minutes or so, you just kind of give it a rev and, you know, see if you can see any crap coming out. Now, this isn't completely clogged up, but I'm just doing this for the purpose of the video. So this is just going to kind of stop stuff coming on. But I should notice a difference. So it's going to be very difficult for me to try and talk over the engine. But every 10 minutes or so, I'm just going to give it a slight rev. What I have brought for this is a little clock, a little timer. And I'm just going to rest on it. It hasn't come yet. So every 10, 15 minutes, just give it a rev for maybe 30 seconds or so, maybe 10, 15 seconds in and around there. Not, I don't mean a full on, no, 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 on the limiter. Just kind of blip the throttle. And after about an hour, it should be done. So every so often, I'll turn the camera back on, just kind of give it a blip and we'll see. Sorted.
Sort it. Right, that's it. You can see me revving up in the video. Um, I'm not going to take this for a drive and film it because there's no point me trying to convey exactly what's going on. You know, if it feels better or anything. So what I'm going to do is, when I do other customers' car, I'm going to get their reaction, which I think will be a lot better, be more tangible and everything, and um, you know, get the person's reaction that used to drive the car and after the fact. I think it'll be a lot better. Also, if you're worried about storing this machine, because obviously we've got hydrogen built up in here now, all you've got to do is once you've finished using it, just open the lid, the hydrogen will just go out. Simple as that. Don't have to do anything, open the lid, leave it outside, hydrogen will just dissipate, and there you go, you can store the machine. Disconnect the lead, pull out this. Oh, can you see what I'm doing? You can just. Put the air filter back on. If you've created any codes because you've taken any of the air system off, clear them, take it for a drive. And like I said, you do need some sort of scan tool. I think that would definitely be better. I'm gonna get a little clock for the machine as well. You can use your phone, but you know, a little clock on the machine, I think it's just gonna be easier. So that's it. So that's it, people. That's the carbon machine done. You know, I've used it. I've had some absolutely fantastic feedback. I'm going to now drive this car because we're going to be mapping this car soon as well. So, yeah, that's it. If you want me to clean your car, contact me on Facebook, which is the links down below, and uh, we can arrange the time. You can come and you can get your car cleaned. We can film it. We can put it on YouTube, whatever you like. So there we go. If you also want this machine, I'll leave the um, email in the description to uh, Godfrey you can email him you know you'll get um, th there's some money off if you if you mention me and there we go people so I will be doing more videos on this I will be getting customers reaction I will also be taking certain parts off the car just to kind of see before and after when the car allows me to do it and it's easy for me to do it this thing about stripping the engine down and rebuilding it it's just ridiculous it's just not who's going to pay me to do it I'm going to be losing money hand over fist and if a customer comes in and it's only expected to be an hour and I've got his engine stripped look it's just not practical so there we go that's it hope it helps thumbs up subscribe all the usual links up there links down below but don't forget get your hands dirty see you for the next one sorted